Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Rich Brian's song called Yellow. It's a very beautiful piano instrumental that loops throughout the song that goes like this. Give you a preview before we start learning it. Check it out. So melody and block chords we're going to learn because that's the foundation of it. You can add all these improvisations and decorations afterwards to make it more awesome. Okay, but anyways, let's break it up into four parts so it's easier to learn. The first part goes like this, right hand starts on the B, so middle C, C, B. Okay, it goes B, A sharp, G sharp, down to D sharp, down to B, A sharp, G sharp. The seven notes for the right hand. So every part, uh, the right hand is always seven notes and it's like descending the piano of some sort, okay? Anyway, one more time, it goes B, a sharp, G sharp, down to D sharp, down to B, A sharp, G sharp. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, the chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. Okay, so with this G sharp minor in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So G sharp minor comes in, Brian comes in. Yeah, so essentially it's just like left hand and right hand seven note comes in. So it's like eight counts every part. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very straight and regular type of rhythm, okay? So that's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part, right continues. Go back up to the A, G sharp, E, C sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp. So once again, we have seven notes here, but different notes descending this time. Okay, one more time. So it goes A, G sharp, E, C sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, it's A major as a chord, which is A, C sharp, E. So with that A major in mind, the two hands together goes like this, the same thing, the chord comes in and the right hand seven note comes in by itself. So it goes here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So a total of eight notes, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So very straightforward, same kind of concept as the first part, but just with these different notes. Anyway, two parts we've learned so far will be played back to back like this, check it out. continuous like that okay so that's it for the two parts now moving on to the third part Ryan right? continues back up to the G sharp E D sharp B A sharp G sharp E okay so seven notes okay one more time because G sharp E D sharp B A sharp G sharp E that's it for the right hand once you get that left hand E major which is E G sharp B so with that E major in mind the turn together goes like this so E major starts off Ryan right? continues like that Okay, one more time, it goes here. Like that. Okay, so back to back at three parts of blunt so far, we'll be playing like this, check it out. Like that. Okay, now moving on to the fourth and last part, Ryan continues. It goes up to the G, E, C sharp, A sharp, G, down to D sharp, B, like that. One more time, so right hand seven notes for this fourth part goes G, E, C sharp, A sharp, G, D sharp, B, like that. So it's nice and descending again. Okay, that's it for the right hand. Left hand, the one chord is D sharp major, which is D sharp, G, B sharp. Okay, so with that D sharp major in mind, the turn together goes like this. So the chord comes in once again by itself, and the right hand comes in. So it goes here. Like that, nice and simple. Here. So back to back, all four parts will be played like this, and you just like uh, repeat it. So it goes. that's difficult in this is just the right hand descending and then once you finish the descending you have to instantly jump back up for the next pattern every part or else you have a break between the parts which is not good so some of you guys might start off like this 
you're like, yeah, got this first part, and then you like stop and you pause it. Uh, think, 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 and you have a delay, and it goes, yeah. So you want to eliminate that delay, okay? You want to be continuous, or else you break the rhythm and it won't sound correct, okay? So you just practice. Jump. 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 Always be ready like that. And just like keep doing it like that. And you can see it um, like from from this beat, you instantly have to jump on two octaves. So that is a pretty big jump from the fourth part back to the first part, okay? The, yeah, and you have to jump two octaves to this beat. So just just practice like those jumps. Oops, yeah. so you, you play it wrong, just keep doing it. Make it consistent. So until you can get it like 90% consistent, okay, like play 10 times and get it right nine times, that's pretty that's pretty good already. Because if you're not consistent, then yeah, it's like like you're performing and then you have like 10% chance of like succeeding, then that's bad, okay? Now that's extreme, okay? It's like 10 times and you're only one time correct. Yeah, that's just extreme. But anyways, as I said, at least say 80 or 90% um, consistency and you'll be all good to go. And after you've got all that consistency all good, uh, you can start to add other improvised to it. So left hand for the chords, you can do more than just a block chord, you can do like octave bass note, arpeggios, rhythmic patterns, that kind of thing, okay? So two hands together, uh, your right hand you can also harmonize it based on the chords underneath, so you could be like... stuff i really like this instrumental hope you enjoyed this too by the way if you like rich brian if you like george miller so jo georgie and other ones like similar like that make sure to check out all the other piano tutorials i've done on their songs really really awesome um instrumentals they have and a lot of nice songs they have as well so learn it from my channel as well and that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.